recognizing child abuse and neglect, Charles County Department of Social Services Family Preservation Program. What will we learn today? Some of the signs and symptoms of abuse, how to make a report, where to call with additional questions. Let's start at the beginning with the law. Maryland law section 5-702 gives every citizen a right to help protect our children in Maryland by mandating the report of any suspected abuse or neglect, giving immunity to any individual who reports in good faith a suspected incident of abuse or neglect, requiring prompt investigation of each reported suspected incident of abuse or neglect, causing immediate cooperative efforts by the responsible agencies on behalf of children who have the subject of reports of abuse or neglect, and requiring each local department to give the appropriate service in the best interest of the abuse or neglected child. Basic four types of abuse. Physical. Inflicted injury caused during discipline by a caretaker, parent, or guardian. Marks, injuries, or past injuries qualify. Some injuries may not be seen. Sexual, performed for the sexual gratification of the abuser. Forms of touching, photographing, or viewing, marks or injuries may not be present. Emotional, in Maryland, usually associated with a physical, sexual, or neglect, one needs to see an observable difference in the child's behavior. Neglect, withholding the basic needs of a child, examples include, but not limited to, medical, lack of supervision, failure to thrive, and food. Neither homelessness nor poverty alone is not considered neglect. What are some of the signs? Location and pattern can frequently help us separate accidental from abusive injuries. Are there patterns to the marks, lupin, human, and hand marks, injuries on areas that are uncommon to injury? Are there multiple bruises at different stages of healing? Does the child complain of pain from the discipline? Signs of sexual abuse. The child may describe genital pain, swelling, or itching. There may be genital bruising, bleeding, or even discharge. There may be difficulty walking or child giving information about sexual touching. Other symptoms may include bedwetting, soiling, inappropriate knowledge about sexual acts for the child's chronological age. Separation, anxiety, fears, phobias, etc. For more information on sex trafficking of children, go to the following website https colon forward slash forward slash dhs dot maryland dot gov forward slash child dash protective dash services forward slash sex dash trafficking forward slash recognize dash the dash signs forward slash. Sex trafficking of children is not free to leave or come and go as he or she wishes. It's under 18 and is providing commercial sex acts is in the commercial sex industry and has a pimp or manager, is unpaid, paid very little, or paid only through tips, works excessively, 
long and or unusual hours is not allowed breaks or suffers under unusual restrictions at work, owes a large debt and is unable to pay it off, was recruited through false promises concerning the nature and conditions of his or her work, how security measures exist in the work and or living locations. For example, a POC windows, boarded up windows, bars on windows, barbed wire, security cameras, etc. Sex trafficking of children. Are they fearful, anxious, depressed, submissive, tense, nervous, paranoid, avoids eye contact, appears malnourished, shows signs of abuse, confinement, torture, is not allowed to speak for themselves, claims of just visiting and inability to clarify where he or she is staying, is a frequent runaway or often truant, neglect, the child may lack medical or dental care. The child may be inappropriately dressed for the weather that is not dictated by culture or religion. The child may constantly be presented as dirty and or has a body odor. The child may steal or constantly ask for food. A child under 10 may speak or being left alone for long periods of time without supervision. An older child may have a medical condition or cognitive challenge that may make it unsafe for the child to be left alone. We screen each child on its own merit. Mental injury. In Maryland, we title emotional abuse as mental injury. In the majority of cases, mental injury is in conjunction to one of other types of abuse or neglect. We must be able to prove an observable difference in the child's behavior that is not linked to another type of trauma, such as divorce or a normal grieving process. In making the report, please identify the observable difference in the child. Let's make a report. The story or allegations, names, ages, relationships of individuals in the household, addresses, dates of birth, information about work and school, phone numbers, reporter's name, and information. Gather as much information as possible before you make the call. The screeners will ask for the following, but call even without some of the information. Call 301-392-6739 during regular business hours of 8 a.m. until 4.30 p.m. After hours, call 301 301- 934-2222 and ask for the social worker on call. As a community, we are all responsible for our children. Make the report. The reporter only has to have reasonable suspicion. Making a report may help the family to get needed community support and resources. A report can be made anonymously and mandated reports should identify themselves to reduce risk of penalty. For more detailed information and reporting forms, contact us, Report Child Abuse or Neglect, 301-392-6739, toll free, 877-871-1177. After Hours Emergency, 301-932-2222.
fax 301-934-2662. For more information, please visit these websites.